If you got a receiver that came with something that looks like this, a little microphone, and you haven't used it to set up your audio, I strongly urge you to do so. Your audio is going to sound a whole heck of a lot better and it doesn't take much more than a couple of minutes of your time. I'm going to go through this uh, one. This is a Marantz receiver, but uh, many of the popular brands now, anything that's uh, remotely decent is going to have this. Every speaker is going to benefit from it. Not every speaker, not any speaker, I don't think, is going to have a perfectly flat curve. This is going to help you flatten that curve and uh, really hear the most out of your movies, audio, whatever you want to listen to. So let's uh, start by taking this thing out of the box. We're just going to go plug this thing into the receiver and I'll take you guys through what that setup looks like. As you can see, there's not a whole heck of a lot to getting started. The uh, receiver kind of just guides you through the process. I'll go ahead and I'll repeat the other positions and uh, we'll come back here when we're done. To get the speaker placed correctly, I just use a couple of uh, sets of pillows. If you have a tripod, which I do, you can use that as well, but this is fast and easy and I don't really feel like it's gonna change the results at all. So I'm just using a couple of pillows to put the microphone on and just following the instructions for the remaining positions. Once it's done, just uh, follow the receiver prompts to take you through the rest of it. It'll tell you to disconnect the microphone. Might take a while, uh, a couple of minutes for it to calibrate, but total time here is about 12-13 uh, minutes and it's totally done and you'll notice it right away on your first movie. There's going to be a much improved audio quality. Hopefully that was helpful for some. Uh, the other thing I would tell you to do is go into the setup menu and make sure that if you do have large tower speakers like I do here, that you uh, make sure that that speaker is set at large. Sometimes it defaults or goes back to small. It's going to change the frequencies that are available to the speaker, but it should figure everything out on its own. Mine were all identified properly, so it's all good. If you do have large speakers that are set to small, just change it back to large and life is good. What that does is it just enables more frequencies to go through on that speaker.